to our uh, presentation by Young Researchers session for today. So our next speaker is in fact a, a PhD student here at IMPA, Daniela Paiva, who is going to, to, te to tell us about automorphisms of quartic surfaces and Cremona transformations. Please, Daniela. Thanks, Carolina, and thanks uh, to the organizing committee for, for having me here today. Um, as the title says, I, I will talk about automorphism of a smooth uh, quartz surface and Cremona transformations. Uh, this is a joint work with Anna Kiev. So before, um, let me uh, start with an introduction and motivation. And before, let me uh, tell you that uh, we are all, always working over the complex number field. So the problem that we are interested in is a base in this question that is uh, attributed to Lisa Tulin and that says that uh, given a smooth quartz surface in P3, uh, he asked which automorphism of the surface are induced by Cremona transformation. So uh, this is a um, uh, special question to quartz surface in P3 because Matsumura, Monsky, and Shang prove that if we have a hypersurface of a degree D in PM plus one, such that it is neither a cubic in P2 nor a quartic in P3, then we have that every automorphism of the hypersurface is induced by, by automorphism of PM plus one. And for the case of smooth cubis in P2, uh, we have this well-known theorem that says that every automorphism uh, of the cubic is induced by a variational maps of P2. So the Gisatulin's question uh, was first addressed by Ogiso when he constructed some examples as were uh, this question. He constructed a, a smooth quartz surface where the automorphism group is C and a non-trivial automorphism uh, is induced by a Cremona transformation of P3. Uh, on the other hand, he constructs a, a smooth quartz surface in P3 uh, where the automorphism group is this free product here. But in this case, every automorphism uh, of the surface is induced by Cremona transformation. So we can see that uh, for quartz surface, uh, there, there are different uh, behaviors. And a natural question that Ogisos ask, Ogiso asked was, uh, is every automorphism of finite order of any smooth quartz surface induced by Cremona transformation of P3? And recently we are uh, looking at this problem and in fact, we proved that there exists a smooth quartz surface in P3 where the automorphism group is this product here. And a non-trivial automorphism of the surface is induced by variational maps of P3. Okay, uh, before I give a, a sketch of proof uh, for this theory, I will, uh, I won't introduce some objects and fact that we use for that. The main of the main result or fact that the main fact that we use is that a smooth quartz surface in P3 are K3 surfaces. So a K3 surface is a smooth projective algebraic surface with trivial canonical canonical divisor and irregularity equal to zero. Using these two uh, properties and the exponential sequence, we have that the picker and neuron severity groups are isomorphic. So uh, we can see the picker group as a subgroup of the 
integral cohomologic um, H2 group, but they are uh, there are uh, not just uh, groups; they are lattices. In fact, even lattices where the um, symmetric bilinear for for H2 H for H2 is given by the cut product, and in the case of the Picard group, is given by the intersection form of the surface. This, lat uh, this last lattice is called the Picard lattice of S, and we can see that his lat that his lat its lattice um, has in nature one rho, rho of S minus one, where rho of S is the Picard number. So we start with a K3 surface and obtain two lattices. In fact, we have this um, interesting result that says that if we have an even lattice with signature one, rho of, uh, rho of minus one, with rho is less than 11, it occurs as the Picard lattice of some K3 surface with Picard number rho. Uh, we also use this proposition that says that if we have an isometry of the Picard lattice such that this matrix here is an integral matrix, this matrix Q is at the intersection matrix of the surface. So with this condition, uh, we can uh, extend uh, this isometry to an isometry of the lattice H H2. Sorry? Yeah, I, I, I represent it by matrix and you do the product, normal product. Okay, but um, why do we want to extend isometries of the Picard lattice to the lattice H2? This is because there exists a uh, relationship between automorphism of S and isometries of H2, and this relation is given by this well-known uh, global Torelli theorem that says that if we have an isometry of H2 preserving the ample cone, and this space here that uh, then uh, there exists a unique automorphism of the surface such that the isometry induced by it is, uh, in fact, the initial isometry. And this space here uh, is the um, space of two rational forms on S that for K3 surfaces always we have that uh, is one dimensional over C and we can see it inside of the complexification of the integral cohomology H2. Okay, with that, let me uh, come back to our result. And to prove this, we use the uh, idea that Ogisos used to construct his examples, basically, we use this uh, theorem that says that if we have a smooth uh, quartz surface which contains no cures of degree less than 16, except the complete intersections, uh, then uh, any automorphism of infinite order is not induced by a Cremona transformation of P3. Okay, uh, the sketch of proof is uh, is this, we, we first construct uh, a smooth quartz surface in P3 with Picard number two, such that the Picard lattice contains no non-trivial elements with self-intersection C min minus, two, minus two or zero. And for that, we consider this lattice with uh, um, of rank two, where the intersection matrix is given by this matrix QN, and N is um, greater than seven. 
This lattice is an even lattice with the nature one one, so there exists a catered surface uh, we, whose the picker lattice is this lattice, but in principle is just a catered surface. Uh, the element uh, of the picker lattice associated to the first generator has self intersection four. So, so we can prove that it is a uh, ample line bundle, so it induces a uh, embedding from S to P3, so uh, S is in fact a quartz surface of P3. We, we prove also that S contains no cubes of degree less than 16, except the complete intersections. We also prove that uh, the automorphism group is the infinity dihedral group. Um, um, such he, he has this uh, representation. And to prove this, we use this theorem given, given by Galusi, Lombardo, and Peter that uh, says that with uh, this condition uh, on our S, the automorphism group is either Z or the infinity. To prove that, in fact, is the infinity, we find a finite automorphism of the surface. But in fact, we find uh, um, three automorphisms, G, Tau, and, and Sigma, such that G is this composition here. G has infinite order and tau and sigma has finite order. So I, I want to give the idea on how we find this, how we can find these uh, automorphisms. Uh, we looked at the uh, isometries of the Picard lattice and we uh, looked for isometries G star, sigma star, and tau star. G star with a infinity order. A sigma star and tau star involution of the pick lattice. And such that this property is satisfied. And for each of them, we apply this general idea. If we have an isometry, of the Picard lattice such that this matrix here is an, an integer matrix. We know that uh, it can be extended to an isometry of the lattice H, H2. So for it, with um, uh, verify that it preserves the ample cone and the space of two rational forms. So we can apply the global uh, trail theorem to obtain an isometry of the surface. Okay, so since, the, since G has infinite order, uh, sigma or tau, uh, uh, sorry, since G has infinite order, but the Ogisus theorem, uh, it, is no, it is not induced by a Cremona transformation. So sigma or tau is not induced by a Cremona transformation. And with that, we, we, has, uh, we have an um, answer to the uh, Ogisus question. But in fact, we prove that they are not induced by a Cremona transformation and also we prove that uh, they are the generators of the automorphism group uh, for this representation. So uh, we can prove that the same happens to for all the elements of the automorphism groups, and we 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 prove the the theorem. So um, that was all that I wanted to share with you today. Thank you.